And so but that's another story. I won't go there. There is cutting. I can't go to all those things. So I went to check in his room. And the first thing that caught my attention that made us connect, the moment I entered his room, no, not his room, the room is cutting. I bless you. I spotted prayer in by Dr. Dick Lukoya. Now I grew up on, I'm talking of 2009, 15 years ago, over 15 years ago. I grew up on prayer in. So the moment I saw that, ah, the only way is that you ah, this is the book my mom used to raise on. Say, hey, what about that? Tell him. He has been a dash of the end of his own. Who says, yeah, my body will find me doing that? I see the loose jazz hit me like around to the slaughter. <laughs> so we went to sports ground. Now, if you know where you sports ground, we don't use it for sports. Look at that way to it. What do we do in where you sports ground? It's prayer. We went to where you sports ground, we now started praying. What do you reduce this thing? When you pray, we show you. Well, I know it that even people that pray, there's one brother that was going to pray. What do you follow? No so we went back to the hostess, and that was how we started connecting. 2009, he's been a man conscious of prayer. 2009. <laughs> so we started praying together. Then I started, we started getting close. We formed the crowd. I don't want to go into all those details. But this is where I'm going, so, that, so I can bring it to I noticed then that he used to misplace things. But then, just last week when I was thinking very, thinking about this program, I realized about everything this man has called weakness, he now begin to connect. I only used to misplace things. Now I know why he likes to run after lost souls. God has used the foolishness of this world. But I already know he's an expert in custom coming here. They were, if we are traveling like this, I will collect his passport, collect my own, collect his body, pass everything. I will have to pass on. Go for a dog, I do like that. That's the kind of person he is. And he has been an audacious man. I'm meeting him for the first time, and I say, Oteri Star, with the faded satin shirt. He's always been a visionary. He envisioned. He knew where he was going. He knew, no matter what is going on around him, and he's a man of great audacity. The person I really will not face in this life, I've not seen that person. Me, very much, Kenny, Security 25. He is very. Marry <laughs> mine. One day, went for a program. This man had almost 35 protocol. And I only, once you want to do something, once you see that his eyes is red, forget, you can't change his mind. Don't be about to pump, you know, sweat on his forehead again. You can't change his mind. I'm not even letting you me. He just stopped me. I said, Marry, Marry, you need man. He always goes on, man. The next minute, I already saw him again. But he moved on. I moved so for him, man. And I, and as I conclude, I have less than two minutes more. And personally, this has been, His Grace has been the place that celebrates William Arroyo's parents as the new Arroyo. So, so meaning that for now, I can still call you Arroyo. You can talk to the Arroyo. Uh -huh. So I can still talk to you as a friend. Arroyo, please stand up. Wow. God bless you, sir. Please sit down. That's the legend that I'm still powerful for now. <laughs> I met Aroli many years ago, and um, I remember that I traveled, I went to Abuja for an event, and I got to Lagos. I was meant to handle an event, but because I got to Lagos late, the client called Aroli. I don't know if you can still remember the story. Obviously, Aroli got to the event before me, I never met this man before. I got to the event, he was already on the stage. Guess what he did? He handed the microphone to me straight up. And that is to tell you how humble he has been. And he gave me his card. I collected the card because I wanted to call his name to tell people to just clap for him for holding it down for me. 
and I didn't know how to pronounce his name. I said, this gentleman, can you please put your hands together for a role? <laughs> and that was your role, of course. <laughs> he was a young colleague of mine in the MC industry. But today, he's my father. The young Arole that we used to jump from one event to the other today has a right to lay hands on me and has a right to bless me. Arole, I wish you well in this journey and I pray that uh, may God continue to empower you. May God continue to lead you with the Spirit. Can we all say amen? amen? To take us further this beautiful evening, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to invite to this um, beautiful platform colleagues of Arole. See, please, ladies and gentlemen, this particular I'm about to invite, <sighs> we all fear him. <laughs> At the same time, we love him. And that is because we know how you know straight he is whenever he comes to the stage or to, or to the altar to speak. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, with Jesus' joy, can we all give a valuable and this is our applause for one of your own and our own comedian, D1. A round of applause for us. Yeah, D1. D1 is the one. Can we say Shalom? Shalom. Shalom. I greet everyone. I'm not in shock. I'll be saying, ah, this guy can carry on believer. Come. But let me tell you, eh, uh, Arole is friends with a lot of people, and that's why I'm here. You don't understand. He get many celebrities where they lose, oh, this was done backslide. For a night, when they get bad dreams, then they call for money. I'm telling you the honest truth. So, I mean, he's someone that does not judge people. And um, he's, anytime he's in Nigeria, after I don't finish for mountain, he comes to our comedy club. You know, very humble. Very, very humble. If you know Arole, very humble man. This is my way to see, very humble. You know, it was when uh, your sister, where is she? When she was talking, when mommy, I don't know say, she was not saying something, say, <laughs> when you say, this God now very, God know they judge us, so, ha. When she comes to say, they sniff gum. <laughs> see, yeah? Imagine this God, eh? Ha. He uses the foolish things of this world, though. No, exactly. You know, you know? I'm just saying that if he can call someone that is to sniff, and the other, uh, uh, Danny, you were saying here that sometimes you send him message, they lost money, and also when they now say, me, I'm, it's just the way I think, you know, and I they talk my mind, people know. So I call him and say, ah, maybe as they sniff gum, as they lost that money, maybe the money no loss. <laughs> maybe they use and buy gum. God has, you know, it's very, so if God can do that kind of thing, I believe that she will put it with people in the game, you know, <laughs> I rather they relate with everybody, everybody. There's one thing that um, Ashiri said, he said that this is one person that he knows that does not fear anybody, and that's the truth. He has this spirit of this confidence. I don't know, I don't know where he's seeing from. It's, it's beyond, you cannot comprehend. There's nobody cannot talk. No, no challenge you cannot face. Nobody cannot talk to. You know, and that's a very good thing. Although I beg, you know, as you are talking, okay, you, you guys, not everybody that you you reply. You know, I'll be your I'll be your boy. You can talk to me and me and If VDM. <laughs> no reply, I'm Don't play, don't play. No, no. For you, you know you won't have any problem. You know, you know they sell water now. You're just doing your normal. You know they sell water. <laughs> They're not selling soap. You know. And the thing is, in as much as I really is very jovial, God the use them. If he see you like this, you know the funniest thing at my comedy club, I only will just come, sit down, you know, hide and all those things. Some people go, they come meet me, say, I beg. I want to talk to Aroli. I say, me, because I've known him for years. I met him when he was in OEU. You know, that time he cracked one joke. And everybody that knows, even when he was doing comedy, it was ethical. You know, they talk nonsense. You know, it not be like some of us, we God will still call, but not this. 
you know. So, but very ethical person. You could not know, say, this person, I like, go near this ministry thing. You know, it was very funny that day I met him and everything. So, you know, come to me, person, I beg, I want to meet her only. I said, I'm going to meet him now. And then, you will not believe what they were telling him. See, there was the lady, it was the last week I went. She, she had to call me, say, do you want to beg? I want you to hear this thing. I said, what? She said, there was one day, she was online on Instagram. And then, I really was doing uh, all this prayer, you know. And so she just logged into the thing. She had fly bread of it. Ovarian, ovarian cyst. Uh -huh. Do you know that as she logged into that this thing, after the prayer, the thing come out? That's the kind of person. You know, but we, we, know the, we don't know I'm seeing. So sometimes, we know they know, say, this man, they carry you. Ah, he can carry you. They, they do. They respect him all over. Uh, not be this country in the way. He just came back from, uh, I think, uh, was it Uganda? Ha. Don't they do healing? Don't they, you know? Oh, don't they use them? Ah, it's a good thing, though. So what, has, very, the Lord, what has the Lord done for you? Is a, is a very low. No, no, that, that Uganda thing was very, in a stadium. You know what it means for you to, Believe someone that God is doing this, but you go rent stadium. See people with problem for Uganda. <laughs> problem, like you don't think they, and, and you, you can see some of these testimonies. You know, sometimes when we hear this thing, because of social media, we don't believe that God still exists. You don't know. See what thing you chosen now. No, I'm not supposed to use that. I'm so sorry. But some of those. <laughs> but the truth of the matter is. Except you have not experienced God, now you can open mouth and say there's nothing like that. Except that's the truth. Some of these things happen, and when you tell a normal human being, they will say, "Ah, get out." That's what's happening right now. So I like the fact that you know sometimes in the administration, in go, you know, record them and all those things. Daddy, uh, thank you also for the mentorship. You you made mention of something here, sir. You said that uh, when you went for that competition, you came third. You know. And the first, the person that carried first that time say, in life, nothing really. You don't understand. So. That, uh, I've been no one climb stage before, I just want to go. So, as I see, say, I can't say, I want to talk my mother for back. Thank you very much. Good night. God bless you, sir. God bless you. The grace of God upon the life of the uh, This is the best time God can ever use someone like Aruli in Nigeria. Because at this point in time that things are falling apart, God decided to give us Aruli. Please one more time celebrate God. Because trust me, Arale is the best time God can ah, no, no. Now that things are becoming too expensive. Please, be sincere with yourself. How much is paste in your area? Was it not 300 before? Now it's what? One, 1,000, I mean? The amount of that is gathering in this country. I pray God help us. And I don't know if you've noticed, for the men, they started selling fake singlets. You wear singlets, once you bend down, it's caught up. I don't know. This is the best time. Sir, it, it, you, it might sound very funny. Chemists are supposed to sell drugs. Chemists now are selling fufu. Sometimes you don't need medicine, at least eat first, eat first. I met this man of God some time ago, and he has blessed my life back to back. I remember a certain time I was at home. You know, these are our industry. Sometimes we don't open up to each other. And I was that broke. When you say broke, there's a way between broke and Brooklyn. I was in Brooklyn. This man called me and said, where are you? I said, I'm at home. He said, pull up. I came out. I wasn't expecting anything. Lo and behold, this man gave me a hundred dollar note. Please, can we celebrate God? 
You know that moment you do not even know or think of where your next meal will come from. God used it. And my prayer is God will continue to use you. I don't know if you still have any hundred dollar in your home. Okay, it's alright. I also want to thank God for his beautiful wife. Very supportive. Please, a round of applause. Cheers of life. God bless you, mommy. And to the mommy and the father. Mommy, there she go. There she go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, they mentioned a few things that I really did while he was growing up. I have a son that I want to be like, I don't, ah, I have a three-year-old boy. Sir, I don't know if it happens to you people here. See, be sincere with yourself. Just January till now, three-year-old, I have bought 16 remotes for one TV. <laughs> Once I go out now, you gather the remote. Baby, shut it up. Madam, you are there. That's it. Like, God bless you, man. You are feeling it, are you? I don't know if there's anybody here that has ever done the job of a teacher here. Teacher. Teacher. Raise your hand if you've done the job of a teacher. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Mommy, I was once a teacher. The only problem there is that the same day they employed me was the same day I resigned. <laughs> yes, yes. They did not give me basic four, they didn't give me basic five, they went to give me that class. They called those money money What do they call those boy? Crash, God bless you, man. You will, you will not see shame. Mommy, there's a man that I want to be like. My first day at work, first day at work, I just sat down on my own. One came to meet me, one of the students. Uncle, Uncle, Shade says, not play with me. I say, sorry, Shade will play with you. Not up to 30 seconds, another one. Uncle, Uncle, Nisei, Nisei, my mommy not fine. I said, sorry, your mommy is fine. And I thought of it, what did you guys discuss to this extent of, you know? This student can talk anyhow. The third one came to meet me. Uncle, if I say my book is not good. I say sorry, your book is good. It was the fourth one that almost killed me. That one came. Uncle, 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 uncle. I said, what is it? He said, that's what I tell you, uncle. Okay. Good night. God bless you, uncle.